with you guys and talk to you guys about motivation. Our lives have probably shifted or changed slightly over the last few weeks and we may be noticing that we are snacking more than normal or we're craving comfort foods or we don't have the motivation to go out and push ourselves the way we were if we were going to our gym or we were meeting our friends. So we wanted just to kind of share with you guys a couple things that we've learned, some tips, some hacks, and hopefully we can encourage you guys to stay motivated and keep working hard. First thing that we wanted to touch on is we want to touch on sleep. So for us, the biggest thing is we noticed we were staying up later than normal because we weren't having to be at the gym to coach morning classes or train early because we felt like maybe we had all day to get our work done and to get our training in. That was leading us to feel like crap and for me it was creating just a little bit of anxiety. And so I think going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time and kind of trying to plan out our daily routine has been a huge help. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, really, I'm a huge proponent of some sort of routine. Doesn't mean you have to do the same thing every day, but I think that creating some habits where even maybe now, if you don't have to get up and you're sleeping in a little bit, it's better to get up at your regular time and start your day and get things moving. Um, just because maybe we're, we're at home because we don't have to work, doesn't mean we should be sleeping in and changing that routine. I think a lot of times it even tends to cause anxiety for people when they stay in bed longer than normal, or maybe longer than they should. It's like get up, get your day going, and find something that you've, uh, you want to keep going throughout the day. The next thing we wanted to touch on would be your nutrition. So again, I noticed myself craving comfort foods, mac and cheese, pizza, cinnamon rolls, all sorts of things that I typically don't crave, have any desire to eat, and I think it was just a little bit of raised stress. So we've tried to structure ourselves back into what are the regular foods when we're going to the grocery store. We're making sure we're not buying these foods that we don't want to eat, so that way we're not keeping them in the house. And we're trying to, again, set up that routine so we're not just grazing all day long. Yeah, and it doesn't mean you can't have something like that ever. Whether it is mac and cheese or pizza, who doesn't like that? but it's not an everyday thing. And maybe it's like, I'm gonna do it on Saturday, but I'm also gonna earn it. And I'm gonna maybe do it two a day because I've got a little extra time because I'm at home. Or maybe I'm busy, but I'm still gonna get a really hard workout in or a long run so that I can kind of earn it and I'm not getting those extra calories or maybe the stuff is not as good for me without burning them as well. I think the biggest thing with that is if you do have mac and cheese or you do have pizza or whatever it is for you, hamburger and fries, Cinnabons, I like cake, I like ice cream, I like everything. I think the biggest piece is making sure that you don't beat yourself up about it and make yourself guilty because then it becomes this vicious cycle and it becomes this thing that you really want but you feel like you can't have it and then you kind of make yourself feel really bad for eating it. If you want it, like he said, moderation, have it once, enjoy it, don't feel guilty, you earned it, have it, and then move on and get back to your healthy eating. And if you've worked hard, it also makes it a little easier to actually enjoy it. So you don't have, you know, eating remorse five minutes after you fix, fi finished it. If you put in a lot of work and you eat a couple pieces of pizza, maybe you don't feel so guilty when you're done. You just get to enjoy it. And that's a little better, you know, anyway. I think the next big one, so we've covered sleep, we've covered nutrition, which if we can get those on track, we're going to start to feel good. We're not going to have anxiety. We're going to feel like ourselves, hopefully have full focus and clear minds when we're working throughout the day. The next one is staying motivated by yourself when you don't have a gym to go to and you don't have your class and your friends to meet up with. This one is huge. I think it's what a lot of us are struggling with and I'm struggling with that myself. I think I'm struggling with it for different reasons. I'm almost dialing my training back slightly because I don't know what's on the horizon and I don't know what's to come. I don't know if we will have a CrossFit Games. I don't know if I'm going to get to compete this year. And it's hard to feel motivated when I'm such a goal-oriented person that I don't know what my goals are currently because it was so clear and it was very, uh, the path I had drawn out, I had Rogue, then I had trained for the Games and I had my cycle and my periodization all set up. Now, I kind of have no idea what's happening. So I think the biggest thing is staying motivated one day at a time. So I'm not trying to look six months ahead. I'm just trying to think, okay, what have I done this week? I keep a little tab and a little program spreadsheet. I want to make sure I'm staying well-rounded. I'm hitting an accessory piece to keep my body healthy. Maybe if I feel good, I'm hitting a strength piece. And then I'm hitting some longer conditioning workouts, maybe with less intensity, because I'm having a harder time hitting that high intensity. But in the end, whether I have the intensity or not, I still got something done. So I think it's about finding what will work for you at this time. And it's probably not what you were doing before, but that's okay. So I don't have a CrossFit Games in my future, whether the season goes on or not, but I was training really hard to be on a team for the West Coast Classic, and now that's not on our table anymore. 
um, and probably isn't in the near future at least. So for me, I've shifted some of my personal effort into creating a home gym for us uh, or a garage gym. We had a setup that we was okay in our basement, but we've taken the time to really shift it to where we have almost a full setup now in our garage. And that's something that I'm capable of doing and putting, I've now got the time to be able to do it, so I'm taking advantage of that. And that also makes it for us a little bit easier to actually get out there and do stuff. But personally, I think whether you have a home gym, whether you have any equipment or not, the motivation piece almost needs to just be a decision. Um, you don't need to find it in the moment. You don't need to even psych yourself up for it. Put it on your schedule, it's not an option. It's what you're doing today. And the longer you again cre create that routine, the easier it will become. If you know you've got an 11 to 12 o'clock window, you pencil it in there that I'm spending an hour and I'm working out. Whether it's push-ups, air squats, and running, or dips, or whatever it is, I'm spending that hour and I'm working my butt off for that hour. And I think just like going to a CrossFit gym, the first couple weeks are the hardest to actually build that routine, or any gym. But once you've actually built it, it becomes harder to break it than it does vice versa. So it's just rebuilding that in a different way right now. We don't have the community as um, in our face as normal. They're still present, we're still sticking together, but we're working out a lot more on our own. And that's just got to be the new normal for right now. So it's spend that hour, make yourself do it, and it's just part of your day. I think the final piece for all of you guys is to make sure you are finding some downtime at this point in time. So when I say downtime, we utilize GoWad. The stretching 15 to 20 minutes before I go to bed helps me sleep like a baby. It gets me off social media, away from screen time, and just helps me focus on my breathing and unwinding. I think that you need to find those minutes, whether it's 15 minutes or 20 minutes or even five throughout the day right now. I'm sure a lot of us are getting caught up looking at screens more than normal, reading statistics, reading you know, people's hypothesis of what's to come, and it, it's very stressful. So just finding time to have quiet time away from that. Another thing we've done is we've chosen, we were working at our kitchen table, is we've chosen to move our computers separately out of the room. So now this is our living space and we have a separate working space. Yeah, something else that I think that we could maybe take this time to work on is uh, when we're in a gym, we've got loud music, we were either cheering for people or maybe we're getting cheered on for motivation. And maybe we take this time to go for a run and do it without our headphones and learn to kind of work through our own mental chatter. And I think we might learn something from our, learn something about ourselves doing that. Where we kind of step back and just see, see what fitness feels like a little bit calmer with just dealing with what's going on in our own heads and relaxing and finding some enjoyment in it. And I think in the end, you will only be stronger and better when we do get back into the gym if you can take those tips and apply them now. Do it for you, don't do it for anyone else. We hope that you guys have had, found value in this video. We're still figuring this out as we go as well, but what we'd love from you is if you comment below and tell us one thing that you have found that's helped you stay motivated. And if you wanna tell us anything else you'd love to see, we'd love to bring it to you. We hope you guys have a great day. We're all in this together and just keep working hard and keep at it. Just know that you will have bad days, you will have good days, you will have bad days, but in the end, we just wanna keep working hard so we can keep our progression going in that upward way. Have a great day and we'll talk to you guys soon.